welcome to Saint of the Day Mental Prayer for July 28th. Today's saint is Pope Innocent I. Pope Saint Innocent I was Pope from 401 to 417. He emphasized papal supremacy and strongly favored clerical celibacy. Before we begin, make sure you hit that like and that share button. It's absolutely free with a money back guarantee. So go ahead and like and share. It'll really help me out. We're going to start with our enlightenment prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My God, I firmly believe that thou art everywhere present and seest all things. Cleanse my heart from all vain, wicked, and distracting thoughts. Enlighten my understanding and inflame my will, that I may pray with reverence, attention, and devotion. Pope Innocent I was the Bishop of Rome from 401 to his death on the 12th of March 417. He may have been the son of his predecessor, Anastasius I. From the beginning of his papacy, he was seen as the general arbitrator of ecclesiastical disputes in both the East and the West. He confirmed the prerogatives of the Archbishop of Thessalonica and issued a decretal on disciplinary matters referred to him by the Bishop of Rouen. He defended the exiled John Chrysostom and consulted with the bishops of Africa concerning the Pelagian controversy, confirming the decisions of the African synods. The Catholic priest scholar Johann Peter Kirsch, 1500 years later, described Innocent as a very energetic and highly gifted individual who fulfilled admirably the duties of his office. Pope St. Innocent Sent the first was Pope from 401 to 417. He emphasized papal supremacy and strongly favored clerical celibacy. Reflect on this. What does Pope Saint Innocent the first life mean to you? Alright, quick recap. Pope St. Innocent I was Pope from 401 to 417. He emphasized papal supremacy and strongly favored clerical celibacy. What does his life mean to you? All right. Next up, sit quietly and consider this. How can you live holier based on Pope St. Innocent I's life? He was Pope from 401 to 417. He emphasized papal supremacy and strongly favored clerical celibacy. How can you live holier based on his life?
quick recap, Pope St. Innocent I was Pope from 401 to 417. He emphasized papal supremacy and strongly favored, favored clerical celibacy. How can you live holier based on his life? All right, moving on to our Thanksgiving prayer. Almighty and eternal God, I adore thee and I thank thee for all the benefits which thou and in thy infinite goodness and mercy has conferred upon me. And now for our resolution, the most important part of mental prayer, the thing that makes it so much more beneficial than other forms of prayer. Based on this reflection, you should resolve to avoid every sin you possibly can. However, you should especially resolve to avoid one of the seven deadly sins, which are as follows. Lust, envy, gluttony, greed, wrath, pride, and sloth. You can find more information about the seven deadly sins at sdkason.com sin. Now for our resolution and midday prayer. My God, I offer thee these resolutions. Unless thou deignest to bless them, I cannot be faithful to them. And Lord Jesus Christ, at midday you mounted the cross for our salvation. Give us your light, which will bring us to eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, and God bless. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share. Subscribe to my newsletter at sdkason.com slash subscribe. And until next time, stay holy, my friends.